Good afternoon and welcome to another full transparency trading session. We're going to go ahead into our trade from today and break it down. We're in the 30s now. Okie dokie. So let's start out with, uh, you're going to hear some noise because I was actually trading this live on my phone recording with the microphone running so I could talk to everyone. But as you can see, the stock was sitting at 405.78. Right now, we're at the top of 405. We were already now, sitting at 17. At which was $152 from that trade. We got $110 from our trade earlier in Meta. Uh, we'll go over both of those here shortly. And I wanted to show you guys live so that you can see like, hey, as the money goes up and down, it changes your account amount. Get in my car. And I'm doing this while I'm closing up my warehouse. I'm getting ready to drop off my packages for the day. So I'm going to the post office. Let you hear some of my thought process. But it should be an aggressive push down through the 80s. It's 11.02 a.m. right now. If you look right at the top of the phone there, the the trade usually kicks off about 11.06. So we're going to fast forward to about 11.05. 11.05. So you see, we pushed up a little bit. And we got in at 406.20, so we're good. We were good no matter how this trade went. If we went up to 406, we would have just got out. Boom, 406 happens. You start to see the fall happen. Here we're still at 406. You see it falling fast through all of my prices. Now watch what happens when I move from the 60s to the 50 cent area. So we're at 20%, 21% in the 60s. Watch what happens when I hit 50 cent. 20% puts us at $342. Happy with that. Don't have to be greedy. That 50 cent. Yes, sir. Billy Bob Jolie. Now look at how amazing that is. A 4% jump off of a 10 cent move because now you're getting closer to being in the money. And once you get comfortable, nothing will stop you from trading. I don't care if you have several distractions going on. I'm closing my warehouse. I'm delivering packages to the post office. I'm still live trading for you guys. And this is me going into the post office while trading. So had I been looking at the drop here and I saw the 90 MA, I would have moved this little yellow line out of the way. I would have seen that the 90 MA or support level was coming. Once we reach this area right here, I would have gone ahead and hopped out of this trade. Let's continue on. I'm going to say a key thing here. So I wanted to rewind that. Now the key is don't lose your profits though. I'm trying to wait for something to happen. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And that's important. Don't lose your profit on a winning trade. And I'm going to show you what that looks like coming here in just a few moments. We have broken 50 cents. This is beautiful. I'm so, I, I love doing these trades because I like to show people that you can do this in any circumstance, in any situation. And as you can see, we instantly jumped up. Boom, crossed through 50%. We went up another 4% in just a three cent lower situation to 28% should have taken my profits here. I couldn't see behind the yellow line at the time. I should have moved it over to the left. And then I would have seen that an area of support was coming on. The reason I'm on the one hour is because I wanna make sure that my trade is reflecting across all time frames. It's red on the one minute, the five minute, the 15 minute. And as long as it's red on the one hour, it's usually gonna continue that path of being red. 28%, 28% of our trade is $462 correction 352 of this is from qqq 400 was the 28 percent of the trade key level coming up here when i should have known to get out is when we hit the 30s and right there could have closed should have closed now i got caught up here watching the price action as you can see it went down to 47 cent it was 1310 should have finished closing there now this is what got me excited. I saw that 39, I saw that 1350. And instead of going back to the chart to look at what the chart was doing, I'm sitting here watching price action for way too long. 1117, we're at 38 cent. It's still at 1350, as you can see, it stopped going down. After a certain point in time, you have to get the full 10 cent for it to actually make a move for you. Once you break that 50 cent area. 17 to 1138, you start to see that it's actually kind of reversing and it's hitting a level of support. That's what I should have been paying attention to. 10 seconds more. Once we hit 50 cent, got to get out. I'm at 1270. I've already lost $80 off of this trade. I should have been through right here, but it goes on more. 
key is don't get tricked because when this happens and you start to see it go down and then jump up three or four cent, it's about to jump another 20 cent. So we are at 12.23, 48 cent at 12.18. 10 seconds later, 50. 20 seconds later, 70 cents. 20 seconds cost me $300. And I want you to learn this. I want you to see it for yourself live. That's when I'm like, okay, now I have to get out because I don't want to not hit my goal on my trade for the day because we're at 1,000 there. We close out. It's at 262. We only get uh, 252. I would have closed my trade out with nearly $500 at the 28% had I noticed that, but I didn't but I still hit my goal for the day. So as long as you end green and the impact of it, the trade is overall a net positive, that is a good thing. I don't care if you have one position, two position, five positions, because I've made more with less positions. The reason that I went so heavy in this position is because the stock was only moving about 60 cents. That way, when that move happened, it would be more of an aggressive push. Had it pushed in the other direction aggressively and I started to lose my $110 profit from the meta trade, then I would have closed the trade out completely. But because I got in at the absolute top of the zone, I was fine with holding it for the um, 14 minutes, 13 minutes. Yeah, but you can't play with your food just to be greedy. So now let's go over to the charts real quick and actually take a look at what really happened in that trade. I'm gonna go to the one minute so you can really see it. So you see us going up here at 10, you see that final push up and then you see us kind of peak and we've been peaking here for a while. So then finally we push down. I catch this entire trade for one minute, goes up a little bit. One, two, three, four, up a little bit to the 90 MA, pushes back down, five, up, down, six, and then right here where we hit this bottom, this 405.38, which is where I should have noticed, because look at that. Look at how if I put a price action there, if I slide backwards, look at that. That right there goes to show you like, hey, we jump off of this line a lot. You need to go ahead and close down that tray. We jumped up off of here. We jumped down off of it. So this was a resistance. It is now a support because we are above it. Came down to support, bounced up off it for three candles. Then obviously after we bounce up off it, look at the run we went on. Crazy run up to 406. So I did get out at the right time. I didn't hold longer. Had I held longer, I would have lost uh, more money than I actually did. I actually would have eventually ended up negative. You know, and because I was live trading, I didn't want to set the stop loss and get kicked out. But I should have set the stop loss right around where I got the $400 mark at, which is down here. You know, and that's that trade. Let's go over to Meta really quickly. Keep this. I'm trying to keep this video a little shorter for you guys. So Meta, I missed the main move, which actually kind of sucks because I was really excited to set up for it. So the main move started right at the market open, which is not a time that I really like to trade. But I saw it come down here and bounce and bounce and bounce. And I said to myself, I should get in right now. And I didn't. I hesitated. It flew off from 332 all the way up to 337, a $5 move that I would have been right in the middle of. 954 I get into my trade it pushes down pretends like it's gonna push up again this gray area is my zone and then I did get to catch this so I got hundred and ten dollars off of that not a bad trade at all hundred and ten dollars down here and then QQQ for another 152 and then even on my a1 trade I didn't take the four hundred plus dollars profit that I would have had because I held too long and that is another key you don't want to hold your trades too long but listen, that's it for the full transparency trading session today. I'm trying to shorten these videos up so that you guys can get in and get out. You know, I'll break down more of what happened in the market on another time. I think tomorrow I'm going to do a video kind of going over the basics, you know, so we can really get back to basics on Saturday. But I'm your boy Sebastian and I'm out of here. Listen, salute to everybody who comes and checks these videos out. As always, I appreciate you guys. I love doing this. I love the live trade on the phone so I can show you like in any situation, you can make it work. Screaming kids in a movie theater. I don't care where you're at on vacation. You can get a quick trade in, especially if you're a scalper. You know, be blessed. You guys have a beautiful day. Thank you again for joining me on this journey and I'm going to keep it up. This has been another full transparency trading session. I'm your host, Sebastian, and I'm out.